NBC7's What's Up is sponsored by Bill Howe Plumbing, Heating, and Air, Flood and Restoration. We know how. I'm Marianne Cushy, and this is your morning update for Monday, June 29th. The family of a man who was shot by two San Diego police officers over the weekend claims he is brain dead. The officers tried to stop 25-year-old Leonardo Ibarra Saturday evening because they say he was wanted for robbery. Police say he reached for a gun and then pointed it at them. Two officers fired, hitting Ibarra multiple times. The police department has released body camera and surveillance footage of the shooting while it's being investigated. San Diego County saw another record-breaking number of new coronavirus cases yesterday. 497 new cases were reported out of more than 8,000 tests for a positive rate of 6%. The average positive percentage has now been increasing for eight days. One new death was also reported yesterday, bringing the total number of deaths to 361. Governor Gavin Newsom is ordering bars to close in seven counties all across the state. The order comes after consistent increases in COVID-19 cases. San Diego County is not on the list of those ordered to close their bars. The counties that do have to close are L.A., Fresno, Imperial, Kern, Kings, San Joaquin and Tulare counties. The closures are based on those increased coronavirus cases in those seven counties. Governor Newsom is also recommending but not requiring bars in eight other counties to close. And again, San Diego not on that list. In Imperial County, the mayor of El Centro says hospitals have a shortage of beds and also do not have the equipment and expertise to deal with some of the more severe cases. The governor called for Imperial County to reinstate a stay-at-home order. So far, local leaders have not decided to do that. Starting this week, part of the 101 through Encinitas will be closed down for outdoor dining. The program will allow businesses to add curbside dining or shopping in an effort to encourage physical distancing. One lane of traffic in each direction will be closed on South Coast Highway between E and D Streets. If you are looking for something to do during these long summer days, well, you're in luck because more museums are getting ready to reopen in Balboa Park. The Fleet Science Center will be fully back open on Friday, but Fleet members, you can go on Wednesday and Thursday. Also Wednesday, the San Diego Museum of Art, the San Diego Art Institute, and the historic Balboa Park Carousel. And then on Friday, it's the San Diego Natural History Museum and the Veterans Museum. They're opening up. And then on Saturday, July 4th, you can visit the San Diego History Center, the Museum of Photographic Arts, and the San Diego Model Railroad Museum. We will continue to bring you the latest news online here at NBC7.com and on TV. You can also learn more on our podcast, Today in San Diego, where we talk about the day's biggest headlines and how they're affecting our community. Stay safe and have a great day. NBC7's What's Up is sponsored by Bill Howe Plumbing, Heating and Air, Flood and Restoration. Bill Howe adapts with the needs of the community. That's why we offer virtual estimates, a safe and easy alternative for in-home estimates on repairs for plumbing, heating and air, and flood services. Because we know how.